hey guys welcome to my channel my name is Kerry, aka lashes journey and today this video is a little bit different a little bit of everything so i uh, this video is about a testimony about me buying rental property a lot of guys a little backstory fast forward you know just a little backstory on myself my name is Kerry, aka lashes journey and in 2018 a spirit was just telling me the spirit was telling me buy real estate property buy real estate didn't know why the lord was telling me to buy real estate property and buy fast so we start buying real estate in 2018 we start buying in 2019 we were just up my game out there my husband let's buy real estate let's buy more real estate property in 2020 2020 when the heart of the pandemic we were just buying real estate 2021 we were buying real estate so we were buying up a lot of real estate prop, uh, properties didn't know why we were buying all these properties but today fast forward to 2024 um, the Lord showed me clearly why he was leading me in that direction to buy rental property so my revelation is the Lord was stirring me steering me in the right direction with rental property a lot of you guys know i don't have a college degree barely made it out of high school you know so i'm just an ordinary person working at walmart 95 job don't have money don't have nothing don't even have the skills but i do i read a lot of books and i watch a lot of real estate contents a lot of podcasts and stuff like that so i was buying a lot of real estate just by working a nine to five job my husband and i and fast forward to 2024 we are financially free i walk away from my day job glory to god thank you jesus and right now we're in the heat we're in the heat of all kind of stuff so you guys know the mark of the beast what's the mark of the beast none of us know right but if you are a child of god or if you're a child of god or if you're a follower of god you know these days are gonna come because you know your bible and you know the word of the lord and you read revelation revelation 13 18 you guys can check it out revelation 14 9 revelation 20 well you can read revelation but it tells you that day is gonna come when the mark of the beast a lot of people a lot of people say mark of beast is 666 is it 666 we don't know we're not sure the beast we're not sure we're not exactly sure what is the mark of the beast a lot of people say you know it tells you it's gonna be a chip it's gonna be in your forehead or in your hand right it's uh, the bible tells you it's an unforgivable sin by taking the mark of the beast so a lot of time i'll do my video and i'll drop stuff in in there i know a lot of people go over your head if you're not spiritually awakened or if you're not re if you don't really know your bible you're probably like what what is she talking about but a lot of times we we say stuff that we ourselves don't understand you know but by reading the word and you know listening to god you will learn over time so uh my question is are my reason for doing this video is to give my testimony so you know i tell you guys in 2018 the spirit was just telling me buy real estate buy real estate didn't know why i was buying real estate but i was buying up a lot of real estate and i get to where we can we have option so i figure that god was steering me in the right direction of buying a lot of rental property so i can help my family not only my family i can help others so and help myself because now we have options because now 2024 uh we don't know you guys know it's gonna come down to where we can't buy we can't sell we can't do nothing because they're gonna make it this way if you don't take the chip or if you don't take the mark of the beast if you don't take that mark whatever mark it is you're not going to be able to buy yourself rich poor whatever it is you're gonna have to take that mark so without that mark you cannot buy and you cannot sell so this is may 2024 
and we are looking to offload our properties before the time comes because we're not going to be able to sell. We're not going to be able to buy. So my thing is, my husband and I, we are at a spot where what should we do? You know, we're going to lose them anywhere way because, and I tell you guys, you guys have to be vigilant. You guys have to have a discernment. And I, that's, and that's why I tell a lot of people, and I'll say on my channel, that's why when the GBD, whatever came in, we weren't complying. We weren't um, doing certain things because it's death before the summer. That's how much we love the Lord. You know, a lot of us are going to be beheaded because we are n not complying with, you know, we love the Lord and we are followers of him. So we just can't comply with everything. So that's why we were able, my family and I, we were able to not fall for everything because there, if you stand for nothing, you will fall for anything. So we have to stand for something. So that's why when they come in with a jibbity jibbity, we weren't falling for it because we are, we're, we have our eyes wide open. We are expecting this. We know these days are going to come. And if you're a child of God, you're a child of the King, you know, this day will come. So we knew the sea, whatever was going to come. We didn't know what it was going to come. We didn't know what it was, but we like, oh, this is it. Cause we thought this was it. You know, so we like, okay, so we stand off. So it's the same way. If you guys don't have your eyes wide open, you will take that unforgivable, whatever it is, the mark of the beast. So you have to be wide open. You have to be, because I'm telling you, there's a lot of smart people out here that look dumb. <laughs> I'm just telling you, we're not smart, we don't have a college degree, we're not doctors, we're not lawyers, but we have a discernment. We plant our own food, we're moving to the country, we are, we're doing stuff. Prevention is better than cure. My grandmother used to say, prevention is better than cure. Can we run forever? No. But the Lord promises us, he promised us. His people are not going to put to shame. His people are not going to be suffer. We are go we are going to go through tribulation. And a lot of people said, "Oh, if there's, you know, wow, Jacob been through this, Joseph's been through this, Paul been in jail." You know, so it's God people face tribulation. So it's nothing new. The Bible tells you and if you are a follower of Jesus, you would understand why are we doing this and why we live the way we live you know a lot of time we slip and we fall but he's always there to catch us and he, we can always come back to him and ask for forgiveness so if you're watching this and you're not safe please make it right before it's too late and i'm talking to my children i'm talking to my friends i'm talking to my neighbors i'm talking to everybody the Bible said, seek ye first the kingdom of God and everything shall be added after. So seek ye first and everything shall be added. So a lot of us saying, okay, we can't serve God right now. Let me, I'm going to wait till I do this. I'm going to wait till I do this. Tomorrow is never promised. Seek him now while you have breath and while you have life. Every day I go to my bed and I thank God. Thank you, Jesus, for not striking me down in the midst of my sin, for waiting on me. Thank you, Lord. So we never know. We're not sure what it looks like. But it is an unforgivable sin. So please take heed and watch out for this. Be careful and be on the lookout. Be careful and be on the lookout for this unforgivable mark of the beast, whatever it is that's coming Make sure you're ready. Make sure we're all ready. We're all helping each other. And that's why when I see people being selfish out there, I'm like, why? We're going to lose. We come naked. The scripture said, naked we come out of our mother's womb. And naked we're, and we're leaving this earth the same way. We didn't come in this earth with nothing. We didn't come on this earth with nothing. The body is going back. To the dust and the spirit going to God. So 
when we trying to build big houses, we trying to, and it's just like me, you know, back then I was just buying a lot of properties. Didn't know why. Didn't know why. And then this year I look and I'm like, we got to stop buying. We got to stop buying and we got to start planning and doing more for people and doing more, sheltering more people, helping more people. And now we we prayed about it. We like my husband and I, should we sell? We don't know. But then we decide, we pray about it, and God said, we have it in our spirit. Let's sell. So we're getting ready to sell and move to the country. In a little shack with our one-bedroom or two-bedroom, we move in far away to the country in a little shack. I don't know where we're moving yet. If we're moving back to Jamaica, back to Africa, I don't know yet, but we have options. That's a good thing. When you're led by the spirit, you have options. 2015, I couldn't pay my rent. I couldn't pay my car note. We couldn't buy our food. And fast forward 2024, we have option where we want to live, what we want to sell. That was Jesus. That is Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And it's fate. And a lot of people would say, you're rich. We're not rich, but we have assets. And we can make decisions. So all my brothers and sisters in Christ, get out of the city. If you can get out the city, get out the city. Get with me. Let, let's go. Let's go buy land in the country. So get with me. You watch this video and you're, you have the fruit of the spirit. You have love. You have joy. You have peace. You have, you have all the fruits of the spirit. You're clean. You just want, you just want to live for Jesus. Let's team up and do this. We can all do this together. Unity is strength. So let's do this. As always, guys, thank you guys for watching. And I'm definitely going to do an updated video on me selling two of, two or four condos and showing you guys the land that we're buying and all that. But the kids are home. They're home. So I'm going to have to end this video because, you know, I have a bunch of kids and they're loud and they come with their tablets and they come with everything. And they're just, they're just destructive. <laughs> so, guys, yes, if you guys want to get... Um, country land i'm i'm going to jamaica to look at land next month and see where i'm gonna run to and if you're like-minded you have the food, fruit of the spirit you don't have nowhere to go um let's see we all can live in the country as long as we on the same mission we love god and we just try to make it right to get out of the country. But guys, as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Let's go. Let's move to the country. Let's go. And let's cheer for Jesus. We're not complying. No comply. Debt before dishonor. Let's go.